So to learn the parts of a flower, I'm going to be dissecting this lily for you, and I'm going to be showing you what parts they are on this flower model. So when you look at a flower from the outside, normally the first things that you would see are the sepals. And a lot of times those are green, but not always. They usually help protect the flower when it's a bud before it opens. So on this lily, these three outer pieces we would call the sepals. And I'm actually going to pull each one off so we can see what's inside of this flower. The next thing that you would see, the next layer, are the petals, which are here on the lily. And these are where the petals would be on this flower. And petals are often showy and colorful. And sometimes they can even provide landing platforms for pollinators, like insects, birds, or bats. So I'm going to peel off the petals now so we can see what's inside our flower. Oops, I lost a stamen. And now we can see what's inside of that petal area. So the next thing that you'd normally see are these, which are the stamens. The stamens are where pollen is made in a flower. And here are the stamens of this lily. Ooh, I dropped one but we've got many of them. So here we've got six stamens in this lily plant. And you can see there's a part up top that looks a little bit fuzzy. That's the anther, and that's where you find the pollen grains in the flower. The long stalk attached to the anther is called the filament. And together, the anther and the filament make a stamen. So on this model, this is the anther, where all the pollen is, and this is the filament, and together we have a stamen. Inside of that area, we've got the last part, which is actually the female part of the flower. And oh, we got a nice one on this lily. So if you look at this lily, you can see there's a really long stalk, and then here you see this green bulb at the very bottom. That green bulb at the very bottom of this carpel is called the ovary. And that's where the seeds will be made once this flower it has fertilization occur. So we've got three parts of the carpel. We've got the stigma, which is sticky. That's where the pollen will stick to. We have the style, which is really long. And the pollen will actually grow a whole long pollen tube all the way through the style down to the ovary. Here on this model, this is the stigma. And we actually have drawings of pollen tubes growing down the style of the carpal on this model. Down inside the carpal, there's stuff that you can't see in this lily because it's too small. But on the model, you can see that inside the ovary, we have ovules. That's what these two are, ovules. And you might be able to see that the pollen tube is actually growing down into that ovule. That ovule has an egg inside, and the pollen has a sperm inside. When the sperm from the pollen and the egg from the ovule combine in fertilization, we can get a fertilized ovule, which will become a seed. So the ovary of the flower will become the fruit, and the ovules of the flower will become the seeds. One other thing that's really interesting about flowers is that most of the flowers you see, we say, are hermaphrodites. And that means they have both male and female parts. The stamen is the male part, because the pollen inside the anthers has sperm in it. And the carpels are the female parts because the ovules inside the ovaries have the eggs inside. 